Hi, my name is Eileen Loveman, and I'm a local author out of Pultonville, New York, and I've been invited to talk about two of my books. Uh, the first one is called Rhythm and Rhymes of the Heart, and it is a compilation of prose, poetry, and essays that I've written uh, the last uh, from 2002 to 2004. My husband likes to joke and uh, say the book is about him, but it isn't. <laughs> It's uh, marketed as a love story. This is uh, George and Bob's stories, Life Lessons from Little Brothers, and these stories are based on tales that I used to tell my children when they were little. They would uh, all get ready for bed and get their jammies on and sit on the floor in the living room, and I would start each story with the same tagline. This is the story of George and Bob, who were brothers. One was older than the other, but I forget which one. So these are just uh, cute little morality tales, don't steal, don't lie, and uh, always love your family. So I'm going to read something really quick uh, out of uh, Rhythm and Rhymes of the Heart. It is a uh, loosely based on several other novels that I've written that uh, are not out in publication yet. <laughs> this is called Vidalia, and it is from the Doolittle Chronicles. Nightfall came early now, as the clocks had turned back to start the season. Moonlook walkways revealed themselves to the pedestrians sooner than the sun-splashed avenues one was familiar with earlier in the season. It was autumn, and it was time for Vidalia's brothers and sisters to start falling away. Soon Vidalia knew it would be her time, too. She flew along, landing on various surfaces, stopping a moment to stretch her legs never lit lighting too long on one particular place, for she was well aware that she was not liked by many. Her lifespan was short as it was, and so she did not take care to make too many friends or develop deep relationships. Vidalia never quite figured out what her purpose in life was. She knew she was put on the earth for a reason, but she didn't quite grasp its significance until after she was gone, a mere remembrance of a summer's day. They traveled in packs, most of them looking out for one another, instinctively hovering over the small ones, those whose wings had not developed and were forced to squirm against each other. One by one, their wings did sprout, and they quickly flew to wherever the scent of the day directed them. They flew great distances in a short period of time, for they were always hungry and always amorous. Whether they were flying to meet their true love or land on a basket of apple blossoms, they achieved their task with great determination and perseverance. I spoke to Vidalia as they had reached the final leg of her journey, arriving after many days of non-stop flying. She had landed on...